today we are going to deal with the third house. The third house is uh, the next one to the second house if you go clockwise on the zodiac. Suppose your ascendant is on say Capricorn, then the second house would be Aquarius or uh, what we call as Kumbha in uh, Indian languages and the third one would be Pisces or uh, Mina. Okay, that is the third one. So, the third house is related to or uh, the key word that is connected to the third house is the house of supports. All that which helps you. So, as soon as we are born, uh, the first help comes from our own brothers and sisters. Today it's a lot more safer, but uh, just imagine those days or uh, just look at the uh, how it happens in the animal world. Um, the siblings are there to help one, one another. Amongst human beings also we find a lot of help coming from brothers and sisters. The third house is also the that which follows the face. So the third one is the neck and all that which is inside the neck and as you stretch your arms you can see that the hands are also directly related to the third because if you are seated and if you want to get up you will have to use your hands and then only get up. Without the hands it could be a lot more difficult in life. Whatever your brain says and whatever you decide to do, you generally do it with your fingers. So the fingers is um, what is going to assist you. That is the reason why uh, the gems, the lucky gems work best on the fingers because that is going to do a lot of assistance to you. It is also the house of courage because always people when they are strong they show their hands and uh, they do a lot of fighting with their hands. They hold the gun with their hands or they hold the weapons with their hands and uh, therefore the hands and courage are all interlinked. The third house is uh, the house of communication because it allows you to write. This form of communication is different from the second house of communication where the second house relates to speech. Uh, whereas the third one is uh, more related to the pen, the writing or today's world it could be the computers because you do a lot of communication with your fingers, the keyboards, the whatever it is, touch screen or anything, you use the fingers. So the third house is also the house of uh, uh, agreements, you know, you have documentation done on an agreement. So there's a lot of paper. Without paper uh, there seems to be no agreement and uh, this is also related to the ability to write and document and record things. And we also have uh, certain other aspects of the third house but uh, in general uh, if you were to look at the keyword it's easier to look at it as the house of help or assistance. Therefore, uh, servants, your house, in your, your maid servant, uh, your driver, or all those who work under, under you if you are the boss, the people who help you earn your money in business, all these are related to the third house. If the third house is um, uh, afflicted, meaning uh, if bad planets occupy the third house, you are going to have some problems related to the the house of supports, where you need the support, you won't get it or you will find it very difficult. If it is afflicted, it looks like uh, <coughs> you are going to be unassisted and uh, that also means that you are going to be on your own. So if the third lord or the planet owning the third house occupies the sixth house of enemies, 
your servants can become your enemies your brothers and sisters can become your enemies and uh, your own communication can get you into trouble the uh, third house also denotes to uh, the pets at home and uh, the third house is also called the house of awakening or uh, being awake which itself helps you a lot sleeping is uh, directly related to the ninth house which is right across the third house opposite house um, so if you have a good ninth house you can sleep a lot but if you have an afflicted third house it means that you're going to spend a lot of time uh, in say a sleepless uh, sleeplessness is uh, related to an afflicted third house it is also interrelated to your servants and uh, your help if you are well assisted you can definitely sleep very well and uh, the third house also denotes uh, related to short distance journeys because that is going to help you a lot in your activities somebody who stays back home all the time is going to find uh, it that much uh, more difficult in life uh, so if not the long distance journeys at least the short distance journeys uh, are a must the ability to move around itself is the uh, uh, effects of the third house if you could move around fast a sportsman or a dancer um, who uses the physical in terms of either speed or action is uh, most probably having a very strong third house most of the successful businessmen uh, business persons in the world have a strong third house because they can communicate well what they want and uh, the servants are also eager to help them out the employees are e eager to help them out if the third house is afflicted uh, you might have a lot of ideas but uh, uh, to execute it uh, you need a lot more people and uh, they are not going to listen to you or they will not execute it properly so it will mean like uh, you are just the king on the chessboard without the pawns and the pieces with you so it makes life that much more difficult if the third house is well placed meaning if good planets occupy the third house you will have all the good things that are related to this house so you'll have all the assistance you have you need and uh, your agreements will all be in your favor and nothing is going to go wrong with them your brothers and sisters always with you always helping you out when you are not well or uh, you know or, or if you need their help a um, lot of uh, dogs in your house uh, watching or who's coming in and going out meaning that uh, you will have pets at home and uh, all these things are related to the third house so to sum it up we would say that the third house denotes to uh, your help suppose you need help you, you show your hand and say I need help or you write on a paper SOS and uh, put that paper in a bottle and then just throw it on the water so all these sort of things are all related to the help so you help yourself with your language or the power of writing you seek help by what you write you have servants and all that so we have now come to the end of the description of the third house and what follows this is the fourth house more of the fourth house uh, will be in the next episode